I think it's been reported several times that the uh, quarter turn fasteners uh, don't seem to work uh, so well, especially if they're in an area that's accessed frequently. Um, several of them uh, break in their catches, and as you can see, the uh, PBA uh, hatch over here, just over the uh, PFE port, uh, there's four of those uh, fasteners are gone, and uh, we have to be careful because opening the PBA port here uh, against the Velcro inside uh, would impede the PFE coming out. So. Um, that's just something for us to be mindful of. And uh, we keep our Tevis, and, uh, Tevis cards up here just above the mech so that it's convenient for us to come in and get them read after Tevis exercise and in the uh, mech and then put them back. For uh, stowage guys, again, we've reported the location of the uh, food warmer. I think we've sent a video down about that as well, but uh, here again is where we keep the uh, U.S. food warmer. And the uh, Cupola robotic workstation. And uh, as far as uh, any other dynamic stowage goes, this is our pre-staging area for uh, 2JA the uh, lab overhead 3 location. It's fairly packed right now with uh, items ready for uh, the uh, 127 crew. It was a, a good location. I think it's worked out well for us. We could probably uh, stuff a little bit more in there. Mostly CTBs, ECOX, JSBs. And as you can see, there's some uh, food containers there all bundled up and ready to go. The uh, deck three area is uh, still taken up by the ag cam, so our uh, window constraints really don't have too much meaning to us. The uh, ag cam window requirements are uh, pretty much dictating the lab window activity, and uh, actually the ag cam has had a problem that hasn't worked quite uh, yet, so uh, we're not using that too much. A uh, quick uh, time to highlight the water wall in the uh, starboard two area. Uh, Bob and Frank did a IFM here on the task list to try to get the uh, water wall away from the SIR rack, and I think that's been fairly successful. Uh, bungee cords are uh, trying to keep that uh, uh, from impacting the wall. There's, uh, it looks like there's one against there, but uh, we'll fix that. And we do uh, periodically reorient these to get them uh, off the SIR rack. Now, concentrating uh, for a time in the Lab 1 area, um, the Tess, which is now inhabited uh, by Frank, one of the quieter places on the station. And the uh, OGS rack, um, which we have reported several times before, this is a very busy area that uh, was not supposed to have stowage on it, but of course we have the Altia on there. Um, we do have an SSC here, which uh, Frank uses office-wise, and if we have the uh, BCAT payload set up, then we use it here. Um, the OCA router is also situated here, and it's a bit of a, a massive cabling. A router.